In many cities in America, gun violence is on the rise, including in New York, where thousands of police officers lined the streets to say goodbye after two officers were shot to death in an ambush. The gun used to kill the officers was a Glock 45, equipped with an illegal modified drum magazine that could hold 50 rounds. Joe Biden was in New York on Thursday, touring communities on the front lines of gun violence. America's murder rate has jumped nearly 30 percent in recent years, and gun sales have soared since the start of the pandemic. In the U.S., more than 30 police officers have been shot so far this year. Biden toured New York's police headquarters, where he rejected calls from some in his party to rein in police spending. The answer is not to defund the police. It's to give you the tools, the training, the funding to be partners. That's why I called on the Congress to pass a budget later this year that provides cities like New York and others with an additional $300 million for community policing. But already the budget of the New York Police Department, the largest in the U.S., is $10 billion a year. If we start defining public safety, though, in terms of how much money we spend on policing, that's the wrong approach. We should be asking for metrics that measure community well-being, safety, uh, school attendance, employment, all the things that we care about in a neighborhood should be the way we define safety, not simply how much we're spending on policing or how many officers there are in the city. On Thursday, President Biden announced new initiatives to try to slow down gun violence, including the launching of five illegal gun task forces meant to try to stop the flow of illegal guns traveling between different states. New York's mayor, Eric Adams, points to the so-called Iron Pipeline, the name given by law enforcement to a loose connection of highways from the southern U.S. to the northeast, used by gun smugglers to move weapons. We're going to break and destroy the Iron Pipeline that allows southern states in this country to produce weapons that end up on the streets and take the lives of our police officers. But community advocates say Biden and Adams' policies just focus on more police. We can't over-police communities, particularly the communities of color, and think that this is going to be the solution. It's short-sighted. It's an old practice and tactic that Adams, the, uh, the mayor, wants to take on. And it really focuses on incarcerating or uh, bringing those policing tactics into mostly communities of color. Everyone agrees the violence needs to stop. The question is only how best to do it. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.